What's up guys, today um, I'm doing a video on why I still shoot film. So I have no script, so this, I might stutter a bit, but yeah, let's dive right into it. So the reason why I still shoot film is because, well, we'll get to that later. First off, let's talk about my gear. So I mainly shoot on two cameras. Um, I haven't actually processed a roll of film from this yet, but I have with this one. I lost the picture, so I have no clue where they went. But I can just tell you my experience so far with this. So actually, um, getting another lens for this pretty soon. So I'll probably be doing another video where this will make another guest appearance. But um, the reason why I love shooting film is just listen. Oh, there's just something about that, that click that's so much better than a digital little. It just, oh, there's something about it. But yeah, um, another reason why I shoot film is because the lenses for these are cheaper. So I don't have to go spending like $600 on a new lens. I spend actually on the lens that's coming, I spend about $60, which is not bad for um, a nice film lens. So this is um, the Honeywell Pentax um, SP500. Um, it was my grandfather's camera. He gave it to me and my dad also shot a bit on it. Um, it's a 35 mil film. Um, it can shoot, I believe, up to whatever the max amount of film is. I don't know. Um, it can shoot up to, I think, 16, yeah, 1600 ISO film and then down to 20 ISO. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. This thing has a, um, a light sensor in it, which is nice, so I don't have to bring one or get one. Uh, yeah. So then also I have this one, which I don't know too much about. Um, there's actually real film loaded in here, so I can't like do any shutter stuff. Um, I have not processed a roll of film from this yet. There's a bulb and a uh, normal setting. There's three um, aperture settings. There's an a F8, F11, and F16. All manual focused. You cannot see what it's focused, so you have no clue if it's in or out of focus, which is um, hard. I bet all my pictures are out of focus in this, but I'm not certain. This has a 78 millimeter lens on it and it also has a flip up um, uh, viewfinder. Um, I don't really know what type of film this takes. I loaded a 120 uh, film roll in it because I, sorry about the clock. All right, that should be done. Um, I loaded a 120 um, roll of film that I cut um, to, so it would fit. I have no clue how the pictures are gonna turn out. I'll update you on that. Yeah, so um, I know film is expensive now. It's like last I saw, it's like 12 or so dollars for three rolls of film, which according to my parents, that actually was the normal price, but it's still more expensive than just having to buy a camera body and an SD card once and never having to essentially pay for it again unless you want to upgrade. So this thing is a constant money sucker, which isn't good for a practically broke high school student that doesn't really have a job except for trying to do photo shoots. But anyway, uh, I digress. Yeah, so overall, there's just something about the, uh, the feel of the body that I really love. Um, the pictures turn out phenomenal. Um, so I read somewhere that the pictures on a film camera are about five megapixels but it really depends. That's like a 35 millimeter film, such as this camera, but I don't know how a like 120 um, film would be. So yeah, um, yeah, that's all. Thanks guys for watching. Sorry, it was a quick one. I didn't really, I just woke up and I was like, no, this would be a good idea. So thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thanks.